In this video, we'll look at rendering options in Dimension. Rendering is the process used to determine what pixels will be shown on the screen. When you open Dimension, the canvas will be in real-time rendering mode by default. This rendering is fast, which allows you to interact with your scene and keeps your system resource usage lower. When you want to get a better sense of photorealism, you can enable the render preview mode of the canvas. This will change the quality from real time to ray traced. Ray trace rendering is a method that mimics reality by bouncing rays of light around the scene and calculating how it interacts with every material and surface. Ray trace rendering will give better results, but is more intense on your system resources. With render preview on, the canvas will blend in ray trace results. Once you start interacting, the canvas will return to real-time rendering to give you interactive feedback. You can export an image from Dimension in two ways. First, you can use Snapshot, found in the Share menu, to capture your current canvas and save it either to your clipboard or as a file on your local storage. Snapshot is a great way for getting a quick copy to share out previews. When you're ready to create a final quality, full resolution image, switch to render mode. Here, you can configure more advanced renders and create images larger than the canvas space. If you've saved camera bookmarks, you can choose which views you want to render. Then, choose the quality and format options. Click the render button to begin the render process. Low quality will finish faster, but have more noise, while high quality will take longer, but have less noise. We hope this video has been helpful in exploring the different types of rendering and exporting image options you have in Dimension. We can't wait to see what you make.